UW360 is proudly supported by BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. Pacific Office Automation, copy, print, workflow, and IT. Problem solved. Thousands of people start their weekend at the U District Farmers Market in Seattle. Chris Curtis opened the Saturday morning market 17 years ago. We like the farmers. We like getting vegetables from the farmers. Uh, we like the freshness. Food addicted. Nice job with the display. Yeah. When you see Chris Curtis in action, you understand how she was able to grow the U District Farmers Market into a movement that swept the city and has helped fuel a farmers market trend nationwide. You've got Honeycrisp today. She's passionate about food, sustainability, and the market experience. It always looks so nice. Curtis is the director of the Neighborhood Farmers Market Alliance in Seattle. The organization now operates seven different markets throughout the city. It's amazing what the farmers market movement has done for the city of Seattle. Hundreds of thousands of Seattle shoppers access these farmers markets every week. We started off with 17 farmers 17 years ago, and we now have like close to 120 in our database, and they're probably close to 200 that come into the city of Seattle every single week to sell directly to Seattle shoppers. I mean, it has changed the shape and scope and face of food and agriculture in significant ways. And no, I don't step back and reflect on that enough, but I should. Curtis started this first market within easy reach of the University of Washington campus, 20 years after she graduated. As a small business owner in the area, the former Husky already had long-time ties to the U District Chamber of Commerce. Have you got more cycle pairs than before? An interest in civic activism fostered by her studies in anthropology and sociology at the UW helped fuel an ambitious plan. When we started out, and as I say, it was a grassroots seat of our pants uh, project, we hadn't organized a farmer's market before. We had to rely on other farmer's markets and their advice and their best management practices. Um, I had to call on the community to, for support, and the university has been supportive from day one. It's been an important connection, and I think uh, the university is proud that they have such a wonderful farmer's market in their neighborhood and in their midst. She started doing this back when it wasn't chic. And she, more than anybody I know, created this, worked out what do you need to make a market successful. She's encouraged farmers along the way. She's cajoled city government and state government and the federal government to see the pieces of the community puzzle that a farmer's market can be. So those are also 350 a pound. About 500 to 900 paychecks rely on the network of farmers markets that Chris Curtis has created. If it hadn't been for her hard work and part of her vision and her just perseverance, um, 80, 90 percent of these small farms you see here probably wouldn't be in existence. Uh, that's a pretty good legacy if you rack it all up. Curtis's other legacy is the farmers market community. This is the new town square. Farmer's Market does make a difference. Not only do neighbors see neighbors here, and they take the time to stop and chat and say, how are you, and actually sit down, maybe share a cup of coffee, but they, shoppers also get to know the farmers, and the farmers get to know the shoppers. I have this saying that I always tell everybody. I have the world's best job. I get to grow things, I come here, people hand me money, smile at me, and thank me for what I do. Absolutely doesn't get any better. If you don't know how to define community, come here. The salmon was caught on Tuesday at Point Roberts. Okay, that's very close. Chris Curtis never imagined her vision for a farmer's market would transform so many lives the way it has. Who's that for? My wife. Her food revolution has changed the way Seattle and its rural neighbors work and live together. Every day, I, I'm very, very happy for what I do. It's the best job I've ever had. <laughs>